and welcome back to the channel. Lately, I've been getting a ton of comments of people asking me what reshade I use. So in today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I use to get my game to look the way that it does. All right, so let me start off with the most obvious thing that I use. I currently use a G shade from, I believe her name is Elcrez or Elcraze, and it is the Elcraze 2.0 G shade. Now you will see over here, it says edited, and that is because I did tweak this particular G shade to my personal liking but here let me show you what the original looks like so this is the original G shade right now we do actually have the uh, I think it's the the depth the field on so I'll turn that off and basically you can like trigger um, the depth of field with the shift F5 button and basically it just creates like this really beautiful cinematic blur behind whatever the focus point is now I don't mind the way that the original G shade looks I think it's very whimsical very storybook but in terms of something that I can play with on a regular basis, it's just a little too whimsical for me. So then going back to the edited version, obviously because this isn't my original G shade, I can't share it with you, like I can't upload it, but I can tell you what I did do. So basically all that I did was I unticked Bloom, I unticked the Prod 80 tab, and then I also un ticked the tint and just for comparison purposes let me show you how much of a drastic difference G shade makes in your game so here is our Elkrez 2.0 edited version and here's what the game looks like organically granted things are looking a little jaggedy and that is because I have edge smoothing turned off typically with these types of G shades that have these really heavy shadows and kind of storybook feel you will need to do um, some game option tweaks in your graphic settings it's super easy and I'm not necessarily here to show you all of that actually if anything uh, a lot of those details and things that you actually have to do will be on the footnotes for the actual G shade itself and everything that I'm talking about will be linked down in the description also if you do need uh, some help with installing G shade ocean sims has an amazing tutorial for you which I'll also link in case you guys need oh, just oh, a little just a little shit, extra yeah. help I feel so bad stepping on this stuff but I'm installing G shade now I do want to do a little disclaimer I heard a while back that G shade was doing something sketchy or people didn't feel comfortable using it so a lot of people uninstalled it I don't know exactly what the situation was um, to be honest I haven't had any issues with a G shade and G shade is literally the only type of reshade G shade tuning program that works for me I feel like I find that these particular um, G shades are very like labor intensive on my computer super taxing and G shade just does the best at handling these types of pre Sets. Even though the main way that I get my game to look the way that it does is just simply by using Elcrez's G shade, I actually have an in game lighting overhaul mod that I also use as well as a cloud replacement to give me these beautiful Ghibli clouds. I feel like these actually fit the aesthetic of this G shade and the lighting overhaul that I use. So we're going to pop out a game really quick because it's kind of hard to tell you what they do by simply just showing you. Maybe you can spot the difference. I already covered. L's 2.0 G shade preset but just in case you are kind of skipping through the video I did tweak the preset to look exactly how I wanted it so if you do decide to download it here from her patreon it's gonna look a little bit different unless you do the tweaks that I did but again just in case you're skipping through I did show what I did in the beginning of the video obviously I can't upload my edited version because I'm not the one that created the preset but in this post here Elle does suggest a few different lighting mods so the ones that I went with were the sun blind lighting overhaul mod. I also downloaded the Ghibli clouds. I skipped her suggestion for the cast lighting and I also decided to skip the no glow and no blue because I went with a different light tuning mod entirely. I went with a different light tuning mod. Yeah, I went with a different one basically. I chose something else, kind of similar but not the same. Anyways, the Ghibli clouds are right here. They're by Nico. They are beautiful. I love how like fluffy they look. They're absolutely stunning against a gorgeous blue sky. I don't know. It's a super easy download too, by the way. I really like the way that this looks. Now, I'm not going to lie. The whole like sun blind, um, 
lighting overhaul mod by softer haze was definitely an interesting one to download for sure it took a little bit but i think it is so worth it like look at how absolutely gorgeous those sunsets and sunrises are it truly changes the way that you experience your game it's absolutely breathtaking and in conjunction with elkrez's um you know g-shade preset you're gonna feel like you're playing a different game entirely so make sure that you actually read the notes verbatim so you know how to install this exactly how it's meant to be installed because it's not as simple as just dragging and dropping you actually have to change your in-game files so instead of using the no glow no blue suggestion by Elkrez I decided to use the into the light lighting mod that was created by Lothario <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce the username so basically what this does is this will remove the blue aura that surrounds sims when they're in a dark space and with dark space I mean any space at all by default the game over zealously illuminates them all the time with the artificial blue light that makes them stick out from the rest of the world like a sore thumb and it's even worse in dark rooms where they just glow inexplicably basically it just kind of creates a softer less corpse like look with more faithful colors it also increases saturation from sunlight which pulls sims into the world even more when they're outdoors and it works really well with my out of the dark mod hmm which removes the blue tint from the rest of the game helps bring everything together I highly recommend using both so I'll admit clearly I don't read instructions because I don't I don't think I actually downloaded this I probably will because then everything's gonna look even better so if you notice that my game does have a slightly different look after this video it's because I, I, I downloaded that mod but those are currently all the lighting mods that I use in live mode let's move on to what I use in cast for create a sim I am currently using a background by L and it is called the simple cast room L has so many cast backgrounds to choose from like there are literally so many I don't know what it is about this one in particular I just love the way that it like contrasts against my sims it doesn't wash them out it doesn't uh, feel super overpowering to me it's not too busy it is the perfect perfect cast background in my personal opinion I love how like the light is uh, casting onto the floor here and how we have a full-size functioning mirror because now I can actually get like a 360 view of my sims outfit so many times I've missed like the little miscellaneous details on the back of an outfit just for the simple fact of not thinking to turn my sim around so if you're interested in this cast background or maybe checking out more that Elle has of course I will have the link in the description in addition to the cast background I actually use an in-game cast lighting by I think her name is simply an Anuda uh, I'm not 100% sure on that but the one that I use is the neutral light it's kind of hard to tell especially with the reshade activated so I'm going to show you what it looks like on their blog post the cast lighting mod by simply has a lot of different flavors that you can choose from and basically what it does is it just alters where the light source comes from in create a sim creating some nice contrast and some you know light shadows it just kind of gives you a, a different feel when you're making a sim and then also the lighting actually actually will like be captured in the thumbnail for the gallery too but it doesn't flag the creation scc which is kind of cool so it's just a little way to kind of change up the way that your sims look like when they go on the gallery so we have the city light preset the torch light this is the neutral light this is the one that i use and then i'm not exactly sure if this is the neutral light torch light like combination but to give you a better idea here's like a little picture and you can kind of see how these actually look like in create a sim so this is the in game lighting by default it's very evenly distributed and then here we have the city light the city torch light the neutral light this one is my personal favorite and the last one is the neutral light torch light that's pretty much it for this video that is everything that I currently use in my game to get my game to look the way that it does if you have any further questions for me feel free to ask them down in the comments below I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did you know what to do but don't forget to go ahead comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and I will see you all next time bye guys